Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, we're just going to touch on a big Mets rumor today that I really hope will happen because this guy's amazing. We're going to, this video is going to be focused on Max Scherzer and the Mets have offered Max Scherzer more than $40 million annually. Um, and let's just get right into it because that is a huge deal. If the Mets do get Max Scherzer, that, they'll be spending money. But Max Scherzer, Jacob DeGrom, one-two punch would be the best in baseball. So let's get right into it. Um, on this Sports Knot article, um, MLB Sports Knot article, uh, it says Max Scherzer remains one of the top MLB free agents with a likely work stoppage pending on December 1st. The future Hall of Famer dominated with the Washington Nationals and Los Angeles, Los Angeles Dodgers last season, pitching to a 15-4 record with a 2.46 ERA and a .86 whip while striking out 236 batters in, a, in 179.1 innings. He could now potentially be headed to the New York Mets. According to Andy Martino of SNY, the Mets have offered Scherzer more than $40 million annually. Basically what that means is he'd just get $40 million per year, if he, or more than $40 million per year if he signed with the Mets. The length of said offers, not yet known. New York just lost Noah Syndergaard to the Los Angeles Angels in free agency and still has Marcus Stroman on the open market. Obviously there's a major need here. How Max Scherzer, okay, so now we're going to get into, like, how Max Scherzer would impact the New York Mets, because he's such a good pitcher. So, let's go. So, it's not yet known whether Scherzer will accept said offer. Remember, he's limited this, his trade destinations ahead of the in-season deadline to California-based terms before he was dealt from, the, from Washington to the Dodgers. If Scherzer were to sign this deal, it would give New York two legitimate aces to go with Jacob DeGrom. Um, yeah. So, throughout his 14-year MLB career, Scherzer has posted a 190-97 and record with a 3.16 ERA and a 1.08 whip. He's also striking out much more than a batter per inning while having earned three Cy Young awards. At 37, it's not known how a contract offer will be formatted though we're still likely looking for a multi-year deal. For the Mets, their interest in Max Scherzer comes after the team added position players, Starling Marte, Mark Canna, and Eduardo Escobar. So guys, let's get into what I found out this morning, which I think will make all of you Mets fans very happy, and it surely made me happy. So let's get into that right now. So guys, this morning when I woke up, I went to MLB.com to see if there was anything new. And um, I the first headline is this, Mets, Mets close to landing Max. So I click on it, and it says, New York, after a weekend of swirling rumors, Max Scherzer and the Mets are closing in on an agreement for a multi-year deal, a source told MLB's John Paul Morosi on Sunday. At least one iteration of the contract discussion was worth 120 million over three years per Morosi, which would be a record annual average annual value for a major league player. And what that means is that um, Max Scherzer will be getting paid more more every year than any other player has ever, which um, that, I find that hard to believe because there's been a ton of good players. But I guess that's true. I don't know. Um, Mets officials did not yet did not respond to numerous messages seeking comment. Even in signing three prominent free agent hitters, the Mets, the Mets left one important element in the roster unaddressed. The team's rotation, long as strength, still, still contains significant uncertainty given the injury history of the principal me members. And so the Mets continued not just shopping, but doing so in places they've rarely treated in the past. Any deal that brings Scherzer to Flushing would be a his, would be historic for reasons beyond just money, signaling that the Mets under Steve, owner Steve Cohen have become a bona fide free agent destination. Scherzer, of course, needs no introduction to New York, having spent roughly half of his 14-year career in the NL East. The right-hander won two of three Cy Young awards, as well as, as well as a World Series title in Washington, burnishing what ha what appears to be a Hall of Fame res resume. So, honestly, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, bug you with the rest of the article, but 
So basically what this is saying is that the Mets and Mad Max Scherzer are very close to a multi-year deal. And if the Mets somehow do land Max Scherzer, they've got the best one-two punch in ba- baseball, Jacob DeGrom, Max Scherzer, and then Carlos Correa maybe, or no, not Carlos Correa, Carlos Carrasco. Um, and then sign another free agent guy like maybe Marcus Stroman, bring him back, maybe uh, Robbie Ray, Carlos Rodon, one of those guys as like three or four, and then have one of your all of their guys at five, that'd be such a great rotation. I'd be so happy with it. I'm fairly sure that uh, Carlos Carrasco will bump back easily. He will jump back uh, from his rough end of 2021 very, very easily. And for me, this is a, this would be a perfect signing for the Mets because it would also signal that they're going out to get these players. And I couldn't be more excited, couldn't be more happy for 2022 and beyond right now because the Mets are landing these like really, really solid guys, and um, they're doing really good. So that's where I'm gonna end it here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on Mex, on Mad Max, and Mets rumors. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. As you can see, uh, it's kind of dark outside, but it's 6:15. I just woke up. Just wanted to sh- share this with you guys. So you guys have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. I don't really expect you guys to, but.